Hello, welcome to Neoscribe. We've all seen the headlines, graphene batteries that charge five times faster, solid state batteries with three times the capacity. There's so many news stories about energy storage research these days that after a while you're like, bring it to market already. Because we get so excited from these headlines that we want them in our devices now. The great Joe Scott said it best when he said, You could charge your laptop in the time it takes you to take a whiz. And while these promising breakthroughs may not lead to actual products as fast as we would like, eventually one or many will get there, right? So while we wait, let's talk about yet another breakthrough in energy storage research, the record-breaking 3D printed graphene supercapacitor from the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. I get a kick out of that description. It's like all the nerd buzzwords packed together. 3D printed graphene supercapacitor. Anyway, before we talk about that, let's briefly talk about what supercapacitors are. A supercapacitor or supercap is an energy storage device similar to batteries. While batteries release energy from chemical reactions, supercaps generally store energy from static electricity. Supercaps have a lot of advantages over batteries and may one day replace batteries as the dominant portable energy storage technology. First, they charge ridiculously fast. They have a virtually unlimited cycle life. They work better than batteries in extreme temperatures and they also have a higher power density than batteries. In other words, they transfer energy much faster. But supercaps have one major disadvantage. They have much lower energy density, and that's why batteries have wider applications. And this takes us to pseudocapacitors, or pseudocaps. Think of pseudocaps as a bridge between batteries and supercapacitors, as they maintain a lot of the same advantages as supercaps, but they have higher energy densities. But the challenge with improving energy density in pseudocaps is, as you increase the thickness of the electrode, usually made out of manganese oxide, the performance of the device drops rapidly because the ions have to move through more material. And this is where the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory comes in. On October 18th, the lab reported that they developed an electrode out of 3D printed graphene aerogel that has the highest ratio of energy stored per unit of surface area ever recorded for a supercap. And by small chance you don't know what graphene is, there are a bunch of videos out there about it, but it's simply a sheet of silicon one atom thick that scientists slap on anything to make them work 5 or 10 times better. Anyway. Lawrence Livermore has been fabricating electrodes this way for a while, but the difference this time is that they greatly improved the graphene aerogel, leading to this record-breaking performance. And the way it works is that the aerogel is printed as a scaffold composed of tiny porous rods, meaning that it has a bunch of tiny holes and spaces. Then manganese oxide is loaded into the scaffold, allowing for much more of it in the electrode without slowing down the ions. And this is called the mass loading, and it's the record that Lawrence Livermore broke. The electrode they built has 100 milligrams of manganese oxide per square centimeter, compared to typical commercial supercaps that only have 10 milligrams per square centimeter. Another benefit from this breakthrough is that it will allow supercaps to be cheaper to produce. You see, manufacturers have to stack thin layers of current collectors made out of metal sheets coated with electrode material in order to increase energy densities without sacrificing performance, and this increases material costs. So it would take 10 layers of current collectors to equal the energy density of a 3D printed electrode. With this breakthrough, it appears that scientists are getting closer and closer to filling the gaps between batteries and supercaps. So when can we expect supercaps in all of our devices? Well, not soon enough. All kidding aside, this is an exciting and promising breakthrough in portable energy storage technology to add to the long list of other exciting and promising breakthroughs. And hopefully in the next 10 years we can either see battery replacing supercaps or solid state batteries actually come to market. Until then, we can dream of an incredible future. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.